So today I'm bringing guys a brand new sports cards video. In today's video, I'm going to be addressing a topic that I'm really only making this video because of the sheer amount of times I have been asked um, on Instagram DMs, on YouTube comments, so many different areas I've been asked what is going on with the football card market right now, what is going on with CJ Stroud's market is kind of a lot of the questions I get um, regarding, of course, CJ Stroud, you know, having a fire week one, um, you know, of course, beating the Colts, showing out like he always does, um, and his markets, of course, you know, continuing to go down. You see a lot of his most important cards are kind of slowing down a little bit, going down in price a little bit, um, and I believe that this could be a trend that we continue to see, and I'm going to be breaking down why I believe we're going to continue to see that trend. I've made plenty of videos in the past pretty much explaining that during the offseason, um, you know, that's when prices are the highest leading into the year. That is when anticipation is the highest. Um, and so that is why prices will be the highest. And then into the football season, we always see prices slide, um, especially for the first month. We see the biggest sell off happen in the first month. We see everyone anticipating you know, to sell their cards at the beginning of the football season. And that's where you see so many cards hitting the market at once. Um, and that is currently what we're seeing right now. All of this scrolling is just CJ Stroud base cards that have been sold in the last 10 days, um, you know, which is a little bit alarming. Of course, you have a very high pop. It's a base card. That's what you're going to expect. Um, but I'm going to be breaking down a little bit more into the reasoning why I see this happening. Um, now, if we go over to the 2023 Prism Football Checklist, we can see right here all of the different parallels that they have created for C.J. Stroud's rookie cards. Um, along with the whole entire draft class, this applies for you know the last couple years of you know modern cards printed in football and basketball. Um, but if you look right here at the sheer amount of cards printed from each. Prism parallel. So you have all of these are more of the common parallels. I wouldn't say more of the common because some of them are more short printed. Um, but overall, the non numbered parallels, you have, you know, a list of over 15 of them um, before even getting into all of these numbered parallels. So a lot of people still have the consensus, um, you know, that numbered cards are safe. I would warn you guys that, you know, while numbered cards are definitely safer than going after a more common card, for example, a green prism or, you know, black and red checker or whatever it is, those are a little bit more rare, but still, um, you know, not numbered. You know, you could be safer with a card that is serial numbered. However, if you look at the amount of cards that were serial numbered, it turns out they are not as rare as a lot of people think. Um, of course, there might be only 96 blue sparkle prisms. However, the amount of, you know, demand that gets into all of these other cards is suppressing the demand for blue sparkle prisms or any other prism, right? Um, and so I think we're starting to see a little bit of saturation in the market. Um, and if we look at, for example, a lot of people like to compare, you know, Patrick Mahomes is, you know, insane prices and say, oh, that could be where Stroud's prices go if he continues, you know, at this pace. If we look at 2017 Prism, which was Patrick Mahomes' rookie year, you have these retails, you know, that were printed very, very short print. You know, if you look at these in a PSA 10, a lot of them have, you know, sub 20 PSA 10s, um, you know, so less than 20 PSA 10s. And then, of course, you have a couple of these numbered cards. You have, you know, around 10 numbered cards. A lot of them are, you know, very sought after and very expensive. Um, but overall, you have, you know, a fairly limited amount of cards. Of course, the one difference I will point out with Stroud is he does not have RPAs. Um, so he did not sign with Panini. And so that does change his marketing dynamic a little bit, which has been why there's so much demand for all of these prism parallels. But I will warn everyone that, you know, in the long term, when you have PSA grading, the amount of cards that they are grading for CJ Stroud, it is going to take a lot of you know, an increased demand, not even a lot of demand because there's already a lot of demand, but it's going to take a continuous increased demand to see his cards continue to go up. Um, if we look at this article from The Athletic, um, you know, starters from the highest total number of cards graded from P by PSA in a seven-month period. So this is from January of this year to August of this year. You can see that approximately 145,000 CJ Stroud cards were graded. Um, you know, if you want to compare that to Patrick Mahomes' total number of cards graded, 
it is still a crazy comparison. Um, but this is in a span of seven months. You have 145,000 cards graded of CJ Stroud's rookie cards. Um, or cards in general. But of course, they're all going to be rookies. Um, so if you just look at that sheer number of amount, um, you know, there's going to be an insane... There has to be an insane, insane amount of demand to even keep the prices at break even. Um, and so unless you have a continued massive influx of people buying into CJ Stroud's cards, you're going to naturally see them decline. Um, and so that is just to pretty much meet the demand. Um, to exceed the demand is a different story. Um, so if you look at some of CJ Stroud's, you know, most coveted cards, you can look at his Camel Prism out of 25. You know, this card was a $3,500 card in May. The last comp is 2800 and it's still trending down a little bit. So there's a lot of I wouldn't say panic in his market, but there's a lot of, you know, confusion, I would say, with a lot of especially newer investors. And I think that's why on Instagram, I've been getting a lot of comments recently, you know, asking what happened. You know, a lot of people are buying up CJ Stroud for the season, and he had a great week one. And now, you know, you're wondering why his prism, you know, variation that a lot of these people could have bought in May for 800, 900 bucks is now down to, you know, four to 600. So a lot of that I believe is due to, of course, when the season starts, you're going to see a lot of people off loading. Um, you know, a lot of people that were loading up during the off season, you know, start unloading during the season. Um, and I think that's kind of what we're seeing happen right now. We see it every single year. There oftentimes, however, becomes a buy point in a couple weeks, um, usually between August and November, you're going to see a kind of football at its low point of the year. And then from there, you start to see some cards rebound based off how players play in the second half of the year. Leading up to the playoffs, there's some hype. Um, however, I would warn a lot of investors if investing in CJ Stroud or matter of fact, any quarterback from the last two to three years since printing really increased, you really want to go after very sought after parallels because there are a couple of parallels on this list that no matter what, you know, Panini decides to print for base silvers and all these other parallels, there's going to be a couple parallels that are always going to hold, you know, that coveted spot to where people just invest because of, you know, they know it's limited and they know a lot of demand is going to be there. And from what I've seen in the past, of course, starting with the highest price point, you're obviously going to see people go after the black finites. Um, you're going to see the gold vinyl have a very significant, you know, sp spot. And then you're going to see the true gold prism, of course, have that's probably the hobby favorite aside from, you know, black 101 is going to be that true gold prism out of 10. That card's always going to hold a very, very significant spot. Um, but a more surprising pick is going to be those color match parallels. That is the biggest, I would say, you know, spot to look at if you're looking at investing in prism recently especially is going to be those blue for cj stroud or whatever it is um color match parallels in general so if you look at richardson that's going to be blue ice that's going to be blue shimmer um those are the parallels that are going to be holding the most weight even the blue wave i would say um not quite as much as the others but you know Whatever it is that is a color match of a player's jersey. So if you guys don't know what that is, you know, you can see CJ Stroud and the Texans colors are blue, red, and white. Um, and so you're going to see, you know, for CJ Stroud, it's more so, you know, his blue parallels hold a big premium. Um, blue is slash purple, but I would say, you know, for CJ Stroud's market specifically, I see blue kind of being the way that investors go. Um, same with Richardson. Um, you know, you see his blue ice sell for a premium. You see his blue cards in general sell for a big premium. I know it can be a little bit confusing to a lot of people, um, but I will flat out say that that is where a lot of the premiums have been had. That's where a lot of the money has been made for you know, these newer players is with those color match. Um, it's more of a collector's thing, but I think overall the market has really adjusted to it um, to where even investors now are investing in those color matches because they know it's going to hold a premium and it causes kind of like a bifold effect where there's just more and more demand because 
investors want it and collectors want it. Um, and that's kind of the spot where we're in. So if you are going to invest, you know, when it does dip, I would go for those, you know, color match prisms, whether for, you know, Anthony Richardson, a blue sparkle is going to hold a good premium. If you really believe in the player and you really, you know, have to invest in a Stroud, I would definitely go after a color match or a gold or black. That's pretty much the three that I would probably touch. Um, the three categories that I'd probably touch if I were to invest. Um, so I hope you all enjoy this video. I hope you guys learned something. Um, and I hope it steers you guys away from making some mistakes in my personal opinion. But of course, invest at your own risk. I'm not making this video to, you know, tell people not to invest or tell people, you know, to steer away. I'm simply trying to put out a little bit more information. So hopefully if you're you know, invested and you see it has gone down, you kind of have at least somewhat of a reason why. Um, so I hope you all enjoy this video. Drop a like and subscribe. We are so, so, so close to 50,000 subscribers. I believe we're like nine away at the time I'm recording this video. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys could go ahead and subscribe. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed and I'm out. Peace.